Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to get really intentional with your business. I'm Lisa Johnson, a multi six-figure business coach, and in two years, I've built a business online where I make 80% of my income from passive and semi-passive income streams. Intentional actually means to be done with intention or on purpose, to be deliberate, and intentional actions are vital for your business. They may not always be successful and they may not always have an extensive plan behind them, but they should always have meaning. By that, I mean that every action will either move you closer to your goal or help you to learn what doesn't work. Intentional, purposeful work will ultimately be what gets you to where you want to be. Being intentional in your business looks like not putting things on your to-do list that won't move you forward. Tasks that won't lead to a more fulfilling life or more clients, more money, more freedom or more opportunities. As an entrepreneur, having strategy, goals and knowing where to put your time, energy and money is what will empower you to keep going when times get tough and to avoid burning out. To know what your intentional action should be, you need to measure your progress. It's something that as solopreneurs especially, we just don't do consistently or in some cases at all. We're all guilty of looking at vanity statistics like follower numbers. They're the easiest to access, easiest to analyze, your account is either growing or it's not, and the easiest to compare to others. They're the first thing we're greeted with when we land on our profiles, while all the other data is a few clicks away. Whether it's figures or feedback from clients, you should be consistently making time for measuring your progress, all while giving any new strategies time to get results. So the big question is, what should you measure as an entrepreneur? When, where, how and why you're most productive. For this, I suggest journaling each evening to reflect on your day. Think about why today was or wasn't as productive. Were you in a different environment? Were there distractions? Is there something going on that's affecting your ability to concentrate? Are you giving yourself enough time to complete the tasks needed? Do some tasks excite you more than others? At the end of the month, look for patterns from each of these journal entries. Another one is engagement rate and returning visitors percentage. If you're measuring your social and website traffic, these two analytics are what will give you an indication of what's resonating with your audience and therefore where it's worth spending your time. While growth is great, essentially you need to focus on nurturing those who are with you now to build a trusting and loyal base while continuing to do so as you grow. The effectiveness of your copy and branding. Which buttons are getting the most clicks to convert? Is there a formula to your social media posts that receive the most shares? What encourages the most signups or email opens? Where do people drop off? Competitors' actions and your collaboration results. Whenever you start to compare yourself to your competitors, turn it into a positive. Who has an engaged, trusting audience? Who posts consistently? Whose personality do you really connect with? Which of these people can you team up with? What did your initial contact with them look like? When you collaborated, what came out of it? Client retention rate and how you acquired them. What percentage of clients came from referrals? How did you approach the upsell? What problems were you able to help solve? What results did your clients actually get? Income and expenses. What does your current income mean for you? Have you given yourself permission to earn more? Are you charging enough? Do your investments bring a good return for you, financially or otherwise? While you need to know these for tax purposes, it's vital to understand what these mean for your business. It's likely that you come across each of these stats every day, but you're just not reflecting on what they mean for your business and for you. Analyzing your results is made much easier when you streamline your processes for measuring each day or week. Doing this will shape your future work. Focusing on your vanity statistics just won't. You'll be amazed at what you learn about yourself and your business just by measuring your results. And this information will actually impact your bottom line, which is what business is all about at the end of the day. Remember that by being intentional in your business, you'll be one step closer to working smarter in your business instead of harder, giving you more freedom, more money and more time. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too.